welcome to week nine. This is our first week where we're going to be converting into a fully online course. It shouldn't be too tricky because you most of the things we do in this class, most of the work that you submit and what have you, you've done online. So let's take a look at the syllabus and schedule section here, mainly the schedule. And I just want to show you that uh, there's a couple of date changes because of this conversion and their date changes that should make you a little happier. So this peer review has switched to be a tutor review and has been moved into 316. And then this final draft is moved to 318. And when we look back, we'll look a little further into the modules for the courses, the, the excuse me, the essays themselves, and you can see that. But in the meantime, all your reading is exactly the same. Your handouts and your videos and PowerPoints are the same. So be sure you stay caught up on that. So we're in week nine right now. We will not have CNs anymore. We'll have discussion posts. So let's go take a look at that. All your instructions and what have you are under course materials. So in discussion posts, you have some instructions here to help you do it. They're only a page long. They, they're not, it's not difficult to do, but you have to know how to do it in order to, to gather together the thread. And so the CNs, which are now discussion posts, are in the discussion board. The first one is about how is searching for a job like online dating. And the initial posts are due on Monday by midnight, and then the, your responses to your peers are due by Friday. And that's the way they'll work every week until we're back in a face-to-face -face class. So I'd ask you, if you have, you have read quite a bit of Blueprint and have thought about your current majors and future careers, eventually you will have to find a job. Many of you probably have had a job or or plan on having a job this summer. So I'm asking you to answer this question. How is searching for a job like online dating? That answer is due by Monday at midnight. After that, you need to go back and respond to a couple of your peers by thinking about this question. How does your expectations and or experience compare to your peers? So first you need to answer the question and then you go back around Monday and you, you respond to two of your peers. And in order to get full credit, you have to respond to two of your peers and do the post. So that's here. You also have an open discussion board in here. So if you get kind of lost or you need some help, hopefully your students, um, peers will be looking at this often and they can help you. And if you do need help and and so you post something and if you, on the other hand, respond to one of these posts and you respond correctly, you'll get extra credit. So do look at this and help out your classmates because unlike you guys, I, I don't stay up till two o'clock in the morning doing this stuff. I'm online usually between eight and five and then I'm, um, not and Monday through Friday. So if I pretty much throughout the day, I'll look and answer emails as they come in. So that's the discussion post. As for the essays, we're kind of doing the same thing. We're in these modules, these synthesis modules. And right now is what we're working on. This is probably the hardest essay you're going to have to write. Uh, you can see here where the dates have changed for the tutor review and the final draft. So the peer review has now become a tutor review. So what does that mean? That means you're going to go down here. You're going to submit a draft to to a tutoring service. I would use this e-tutoring service because it seems to be the one that is most available to uh, you and they get back to you quicker. So you get a tutor review done. You need to submit that as soon as you can. And then once you get it returned to you, marked up, you submit it to this tutor review drop box. And then I will give you points for it. The final draft is due on the 18th. So that's this essay. And this essay is, we've been working on it for a long time. It's the synthesis essay. Um, you should have looked at the Boomerang Kids essay at least a few times by now. And it tells you how to structure it. You have that beginning paragraph with the synthesis question and then a, a um, summary of that the first article and a summary of the second article and then you have this transition into the thesis statement and then you have the analysis section which 
is the two sources talking to each other. So you can see in this case, they compared and contrast. In this next paragraph, they wrote to a topic about brain development. And then in the next analysis section, they just talked about some differences. And then they transitioned to the synthesis section, which is another two or three paragraphs. And you can tell it's synthesis because this is where this writer has said, it's raised some questions for me. So this is where you jump in and you have another two or three paragraphs of that. And then a conclusion, don't forget your work cited page. So that's the final draft and that's how that one works. Then you're moving on to essay four. Essay four should be much easier for you because it's about your favorite subject, which is yourself. And it talks about your career choice. So this, what you need to do this week is read this prompt thoroughly and make sure you understand it. If you don't understand it, just send me an email and then I'll know what to talk about next week when we really get into this. This essay is written in sections. It's a five page essay. I would say each section is maybe two pages long. The first one's about, is this the right career for you? Uh, job description, educational requirements, and then did you make the right decision and you're going to have a resume in here. There's one thing that's been that I'm not sure if we'll do and that's the presentation. If we are not back in class by the time these presentations show up, we are not going, they'll be suspended. And it just means they, we won't do them. You've done a lot of work for this essay already. You have some more reading to do for this essay this week. So be sure that you stay caught up with this reading in this textbook here. And here's your link to Revel. Just keep doing the Revel reading the same as you have always done. Um, that's about it for this week. I don't think I want to get too involved in a whole lot. Your course material contain your um, videos and PowerPoints that are assigned. So you just find them in there along with this new thing up here, which is the directions for the uh, discussion post. If you have any questions, email me at dore.ripley at csueastbay.edu and stay safe. I, I look forward. I hope I get to see you again.